the Social Security Payment Schedule for October 2023. This includes retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, and SSI beneficiaries. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, another month is upon us, and you know what that means. It's time to get paid. In fact, October may possibly be the most important month through the course of the entire year for about 70 million beneficiaries who do receive benefits from the Social Security Administration. We'll be talking about all of that, plus the exact dates you need to know when checks will be arriving through the month of October. Let's get into it as we have a lot to talk about. First stop before we do, thanks so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe right down below the video. It's totally free to do so, and I'm here for you right by your side every single day, watching all the latest details, hitting the wire, doing the research, and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay posted on what's actually going on and anything popping up right now, you can possibly grab and or take advantage of. So again, I'm here for you no matter what every single day to help you out as much as possible. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, and let's get into it and talk about the details of October when checks will be arriving for 70 million beneficiaries and why is October the most important month? And again, this is just my opinion, okay? Doesn't necessarily mean that it is the most important month, but based on the information coming out this month, I think we would probably say, uh, yeah, it's probably pretty important, right? It's going to directly impact your monthly check. However, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself with that. Let's get into it and talk about the dates. And then, of course, we can talk about all of those details as well. All right, so we're going to run through the month of October. Again, only October. We're not talking about any other months here. We're going to run through the dates of October in chronological order. In other words, starting at the beginning of the month and then working our way through the end of the month, pointing out the exact dates when those checks will be arriving, okay? All right, so here's what it comes down to. First off, we might be looking at the first of the month. Well, wait, the first of the month is when SSI beneficiaries get their checks, right? But it's a Sunday. Wait, we don't get paid on Sundays. Therefore, you're correct. Checks will be arriving the Friday before, which is September 29th, right? So obviously, that is when payments will be arriving. Pretty cool stuff. It's always fun to get paid a couple days early, right? So October 1st is Sunday. We don't have to worry about that date because that's not the date payments are going to be arriving for SSI, but rather the 29th of September is when those checks arrive, all right? All right, now next, let's talk about uh, the 3rd, okay? Now, this is an important date as well because some of you here in the community who have been receiving benefits prior to May 1997, this is the date in which you get your payments uh, as well, okay? Now, this does not pertain to everybody. This is just some people. Now, here's what happened. In May 1997, they implemented this new payment schedule. And again, prior to that, a lot of beneficiaries get their payments on the third of the month, okay? So... That is, what is that, Tuesday? Yeah, so Tuesday is the day there. All right, now let's fast forward all the way out until the 11th of the month, okay? This is the second Wednesday of the month, and this is the traditional Social Security payment schedule, okay? So the second Wednesday, this is the date in which those of you that have a birthday landing between the 1st and the 10th of the month, this is the date in which your payments will be arriving, okay? Again, if your birthday is anywhere between the 1st and the 10th, you get your payment on the second Wednesday, and this month it happens to be the 11th, okay? And as you know, we've talked about this before on the videos. Every single month, the first of the month lands on a different day. Depending on the day of the week that the first lands on, it also predicates when the rest of the payments will be arriving through the course of that month for all the beneficiaries. So pretty important stuff. If the, if the first lands on a Wednesday, we get our checks way earlier than if the first lands on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, something like that, okay? So we're kind of right in the middle here. Lands on a Sunday. It's kind of like smack right in the middle, okay? So... It's not like terrible, but it's also not like the best either, okay? Anyway, so the 11th of October is for those of you that have a birthday between the 1st and the 10th of the month. Now next, let's fast forward all the way out until the 18th of the month, and this is the date in which those of you that have a birthday landing between the 11th and the 20th of the month, this is when your payments do arrive, okay? Third Wednesday of the month, anybody that has a birthday between that uh, date range, the 11th through the 20th, you get your payments on the third Wednesday of the month, and it happens to be the 18th of October, all right? Next, fourth Wednesday of the month, which happens to be the 25th. The 25th of October is the fourth Wednesday of the month, and this is the date in which those of you that have a birthday landing between the 21st and the 31st of the month, this is when your payments will be arriving, okay? Again, birthdays landing between 21st and the 31st. The fourth Wednesday is the 25th of October. So these are the key dates 
the 29th of September, the 3rd of, of October, uh, the 11th of October, the what is it, 18th of October, and the 25th of October. These are the key dates that checks will be arriving for fixed income beneficiaries who receive benefits. Now, why did I say October is possibly the most important month for Social Security beneficiaries? This is the day, or sorry, this is the month in which the COLA is released, okay? We've been gathering inflation data for the last couple months here. It's been, you know, gathered up and gets, uh, you know, getting really close here. In just a matter of a couple weeks here, we will be getting the official announcement for the COLA, which will go into effect, not in October, not in November, not in December, but in January, as you all know, okay? Obviously, we all know this. We've been doing this for a long time now. We've been receiving benefits. We know how the system works, but that is what it comes down to is January 1st is when the new COLA goes into effect, but it gets announced here literally in like two weeks, okay? Pretty cool. Anyway, of course, I'll keep you posted on that as we get further along here and as we get more details, but we're kind of narrowing this thing down. We kind of have a pretty good idea as of right now what that COLA is going to be within a couple tenths of 1%. Now, again, we could be off a little bit, but, you know, we've seen the videos recently talking about some projections and, um, you know, it's getting kind of nailed down here. So we have two pieces of uh, inflation data in the books already. And then again, we just need the third one to kind of finalize it. And then it'll be written in stone, essentially, and announced by Social Security. So, of course, I'll bring you that information right away. But these are the dates that I want to point out. Now, inevitably, without a doubt, I guarantee you, I will see comments down below yelling at me saying, we know when we get our checks. I know. I know you know, okay? But here's the thing. Like I said a minute ago, the first of the month lands on a different day in the month every single month, okay? So the first landing on a Sunday, you know, it's not really good and it's not really bad. It's just kind of right in the middle, like I said. However, there are some months where the first of the month lands on a Thursday. Like I've said before, you get your payments six days later when the first lands on a Thursday versus a Wednesday. Huge, huge difference, okay? So that's why I point this stuff out because like I said before in other videos, I wanna know when payments are going to be arriving. I'm not sure about you, but when we, when we approach a new month, I always wanna pull up a calendar to see, okay, where's the first land for the new month? What's the payment schedule? I wanna know when checks are going to be arriving. Maybe nobody else cares as much as I do. I do. I want to know when I'm going to get paid, right? Not sure about you, but during right now, when money is so incredibly tight for the vast majority of people, uh, to me, it's very important to know, do I need to get by for another six days with virtually no money? Or am I good for like, you know, are, are we good here? You know what I mean? So I want to know when those checks are going to be arriving. Very important to me. And I would guess it's probably very important to a lot of other people here in the community as well. Because if you need to scrape by for an extra three, four, five, six days, uh, you know, a certain month because of the payment schedule, you probably want to know that a little ahead of time versus just winging it saying, ah, I'm good. I'll just get paid whenever I get paid and whatever. And then you realize, oh, wait, I'm getting paid three, four, five, six days later this month. Whoops. Didn't budget for that. Now I got to, you know, scramble to try to get some food here or something. You know what I mean? So anyway, that's why I bring you these payment schedules and um, find it to be very important, I think anyway. Maybe it's not important to everybody. Again, I, you know, everybody has their own priorities, their own things that are important to them. But to me, this seems like vitally important, especially right now with this mass inflation, rapidly rising prices, tough time out there for fixed income, low income. It just seems pretty important to me. Anyway, hope this one helps you. Again, subscribe down below, share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day. Take care, have a good one. And Catch you again later in the next video. It's going to be a busy month. I'll be here for you no matter what, every single day. Enjoy.